France 24 is it James Andre, who's been following that meeting. Uh, James, the names of these new astronauts are set to be announced in about an hour. Uh, what more can you tell us about that recruitment process? Well, it is a grueling recruitment process, and well, for this specific batch, uh, the previous was in 2009, and that is uh, the batch of astronauts that gave us Thomas Pesquet, for example, for France, but all the current astronauts that are flying at the moment. So, yes, it's been the first in 13 years, and there have been over 22,000 applicants. Now, 24% of those applicants have been women, and that is the highest number ever, and there have been seven, over 7,000 French uh, bids to become an astronaut. So, yes, this is a very long process, lasts for about 18 months. There have been uh, medical, psychological, uh, physical tests before. There was a series of interviews for those who got through most of the process. They actually got an interview uh, with the Director General of the European Space Agency, uh, Joseph Archbacher, and today is the final answer with the names of six, four to six astronauts who are going to be given, plus some uh, replacement astronauts who will also be named. And then they will not be astronauts straight away. First, they'll have to go through uh, probably what's about between a year and 18 months of training in Köln, in Germany, at the European Astronaut Center before they make their first flight, most certainly towards the ISS, the International Space Station, and eventually become astronauts. It's important to note that the current missions uh, that are ongoing, uh, especially uh, the uh, US-led uh, push to go back to the moon, well, that is still with the current batch of astronauts. It is going to be exciting to learn who those new astronauts are. Uh, meanwhile, James, this conference is also highly political. Uh, that's as they debate that issue of the ESA's budget. Yes, absolutely. Uh, the ESA budget, of course, is at the core of the three-day meeting that's being uh, taken place uh, here in Paris. And indeed, the objective is to rise the European space budget by 25 percent to 18.7 billion euros. Now, uh, the director general of uh, the European Space Agency, Josef Asperger, has been calling for more money because he says Europe needs to stay in the race. And there are uh, some very important topics who have been discussed here uh, today. I can tell you this budget is indeed called the, the, the budget that's been called for is basically three main themes. One of it is the observe, observation of the Earth and, of course, climate. That is a €3 billion euro budget. And then you have transport. That is the creation of Ariane 6, uh, the European launcher that has been delayed for years now and it is highly required at a time that Europe uh, cannot use uh, the Russian means anymore due to the uh, war in Ukraine and has to go to Elon Musk's SpaceX. So that is 3.3 billion and then you have another 3 billion for robotic and human exploration. So yes, uh, a very important budget at a time where it is crucial for Europe uh, to carry on being center stage on the space race at a time when both the US and China are pushing their budgets up. All right, James, thank you very much for that. France 24's James Andre uh, reporting with the latest from the European Space Agency.